Mastering direct and indirect speech. Become a pro at reporting statements. Hello, language learners. Today, we're diving into a key aspect of English grammar that's really going to take your language skills to the next level. Direct and indirect speech. Specifically, we're going to focus on how to report affirmative statements. This is crucial if you want to retell someone else's words or share information that you've heard elsewhere. So, grab your notebook and let's get started. Before we jump into the practice exercises, it's essential to understand what direct and indirect speech are. Direct speech refers to the exact words spoken by someone. It's usually set off with quotation marks. For example, John said, I am tired. Indirect speech, also known as reported speech, doesn't use quotation marks because it's not about quoting someone exactly. Instead, it's about conveying the same information in a different way. For instance, John said that he was tired. The key difference here is that while direct speech uses the speaker's original words, indirect speech doesn't. Instead, it conveys the same meaning but with changes in tense, pronoun, and words of place and time as necessary. Recognizing direct and indirect speech in text or conversation is vital. It helps in understanding the context and the speaker's intention. Remember, if the sentence contains quotation marks and reflects the exact words of the speaker, it's an example of direct speech. For example, Sarah said, I love pizza. However, if the sentence reports what was said without using the exact words, it's an example of indirect speech. For example, Sarah said that she loved pizza. Let's put this into practice. If you hear the sentence, Paul said, I'm going to the park. This is direct speech. But if you hear, Paul said that he was going to the park. This is indirect speech. Now that we understand the concepts of direct and indirect speech, let's do some exercises together. We'll take some examples of direct speech and turn them into indirect speech. 1. Direct. Mike said, I'm feeling happy. Indirect. Mike said that he was feeling happy. 2. Direct. Emily said, I have finished my homework. Indirect. Emily said that she had finished her homework. Remember, when changing from direct to indirect speech, you'll often have to change the verb tense, as well as certain pronouns, time references, and place references. And there you have it, folks. A crash course on direct and indirect speech, a key tool in your English grammar toolkit. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and feel more confident in your ability to identify and use direct and indirect speech. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep working on these exercises until you feel comfortable. See you next time for more grammar fun.